Welcome back to the channel and today we are doing another power coupling test and this could be anywhere between super simple and uneventful to completely chaotic and doesn't work or could be super interesting. I think either way it's going to be interesting just to see what the result is but the idea is I want to take power coupling and do something we've never done with them before. We've tried to compress them, we've tried to stretch them, we've tried to bend them in all kinds of ways. We've just, we've turned them into rope basically. We've created nets out of them. But um, what I want to try to do now is see if we can twist them and create like a kind of helix formation with these things. Is it going to be stable? Is it going to work? Is this at all a concept that can be useful in any way if it even does work? The main thing is, is it going to work? And then I'll try to figure out how to use it. But uh, before we get into that, if you don't have trail makers yet, or you have trail makers and don't have some of the DLC yet, and you're watching this video before April 15th, it might be worth checking out the store page because trail makers is doing a massive sale right now. Like normally 25 bucks for the base game and 76% off, only six bucks. And then the expansions, 50% off the airborne expansion, 33% off the space forager expansion so i'm pretty sure this is the steepest discount trailmaker's ever been and i think it's just until the 15th so uh you have until after the weekend if you're watching this video when it comes out and if you didn't watch this video when it came out and you missed out on it i guess that that just proves why you should watch the videos when they come out this video is not sponsored by trailmakers by the way i'm just letting you know because the devs let me know that 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 sale was happening and you guys might be interested and i don't want you guys to miss out on a super effective deal all right so now Let's uh, try to twist some power couplers, create some torque, some torsion. There's something about the test map that like, you, you know when I'm spawning in the test map, that weird stuff is gonna happen. It's like, we don't need any distractions. No terrain, no ramps, no water, none of that stuff. We're gonna be doing something serious and also silly at the same time. All right, so I figure use rotating servos, right? Just use some rotating servos to twist these things. Now there's a lot of potential ways to do this because like the width of the, the distance from the rotation, the center of rotation could really drastically change the impact. I'm just going to start the smallest, which I feel like is going to be the hardest to do. But let's just see what happens. So I think I'll just have, I think the longer it is, the easier it's going to be to twist. I'm gonna keep them on maximum stiffness. So I think in order to do this, I'm gonna need one there and then another one diagonal from it. I think that's gonna be our best bit. All right, then copy and paste the pillar to the other side. All right, so now let's set the settings. These are gonna be important. <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna go speed. Let's go like really, really slow. Let's go like really, really slow because we wanna give this thing the best chance of, we wanna see something happen and slower is easier to observe. So here we go. First test of power coupling torsion. Place your bets now. Is this even gonna do anything at all? Three, two, one. Oh, <gasps> it's actually working. Oh, <gasps> it's actually working. How far can we push it? I think it's, it's gonna eventually snap back to like normal, right? They're gonna like, oh my good we're creating an actual twist oh and there we go it snapped back to normal this is where i think bigger circumference can probably actually make it better but this actually worked i didn't know if this was going to work i kind of had i had like 50 50 that this was just they weren't gonna flex this particular way but now that i'm looking at it it kind of seems obvious that yeah why wouldn't this work all right so it looks like can we even do a full twist? So this is going, uh, it's hard to follow it. I don't even know what's what right now. Here, oh, you know what? Here's what we gotta do. We gotta have them different colors. All right, red. Well, blue just blends in with the sky. What doesn't blend in with the sky? Let's do red and yellow. All right, yeah, this is gonna be, we're gonna be able to see it way better. Okay, so look at that. Okay, we are getting around to one. There we go, there it kind of is one like full rotation ish okay i can do four of these i don't know why i stopped at two there's four attachment points on these things all right and then it ends up glitching through each other okay so now let's bump it up to four so this goes up and we change the color to white all right what's a good third color something distinct 
from the other ones. Purple? Purple kind of works. Yeah, I'm going to go with this like pink, this pink color. You know, let's see what it looks like as well. Getting rid of uh, the attachment points. All right, here we go. They should have a lot more force now. Whoa. Yeah, I feel like 180 degrees is going to be like the most stable part of this. This is interesting. I wonder what, I wonder if this is going to be able to twist more because there's this more interference. Look at, oh, that looks cool. That's what I was hoping. All right, and now it's coming undone. All right, now we've got to widen it. We got to increase the radius and I think it's going to be better this way. It's going to look better at a lower rotation amount. So I think the best way to do this, there's a certain part I'm looking for. I think it's this part right here. If I put this on each corner, yeah, then I can attach, I'm gonna have to attach like two here, two here, two here, two here, and they'll kind of act as one-ish. Or maybe I could just do like here, 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 here. Yeah, that makes sense. It'll make sense. It'll make sense when I do it. Don't panic. Stop panicking. I can hear you panicking. All right, so there's one. And then we go to this one. Oh, yeah, this is going to be really interesting. All right, I think that is all equidistant from each other, right? Looks like it. All right, now let's see what this looks like. Oh, whoa. Oh, that looks, that already looks cool. Oh, let me go free cam. Look at that. Whoa, let's get in here. Oh. Yeah. All right. I don't know why this is so intriguing to me. So is this, this is almost a half rotation. Yeah. Cause you can see the, uh, the yellow goes from the bottom. It goes through and it's at the top over here. So I don't think it's possible with the current method to do a full rotation without them just kind of like phasing through and back to, uh, a, their starting point, but let's keep going with this. Yep. See, there we go. Dang, that's unfortunate. It'd be really awesome if you could just keep on twisting, but they need to stay in contact with each other and force each other. Yeah, dang it. All right, but we can create a twist. Look at that. The problem is like, what do we do with this? What can we do with this information? Oh, this doesn't look good. Does this side look good? This side looks fine. Oh, look at that side, nice and stable. This is the ner this is the nervous brother. Are you sure about this? Are you sure we should be doing this? This doesn't feel right. Okay, out of curiosity, let's change the stiffness of these. Cause I genuinely don't really know. I mean, if it's, we don't know, there's another factor to this. When you twist, you are also technically contracting because as each one goes through a twist, it's trying to pull in because it is uh, taking up, it is it is taking up more distance. So it can't take up the same distance if it is also going at an angle. So essentially we've been stretching them out. So I think the way around that is to put this on a piston. I'm gonna do a quad piston just cause it's symmetrical and we probably need the strength. So now we're gonna expand as I press the button to turn them. And the speed is also going to be like 0 0.5. Start position is going to be zero. Oh, we can't do that. We can't have a start position of zero unless the pistons don't push. The pistons have to pull. Okay, so that means the pistons cannot be attached to that directly. Instead, what happens? Uh, I'm like halfway there. My brain is halfway on the path to the, to the solution. Okay, I think... I have this set up in a way that with the pistons will start at their maximum and then now I got to reverse it. So now when I twist, it will slowly contract the pistons and that contracting of the pistons will actually essentially push the this part forward. Let's uh let's see if that works. Ready? Yeah. So now we're compressing the power couplers too much. Whoa. Okay, now this is kind of cool. See, if they just let me twist them more, all of this pressure would be alleviated because they would take up more uh, distance as they twist. All right, I have determined that I need independent control of the pistons because we need to be able to fine tune the pressure. We need the pressure to match the twisting. Let's do Q and E. All right, so let's just do a full 180. 
There we go. All right, now there should be some pulling tension in this. So if I do Q, that should get alleviated. Uh, oh, dang it. This is... Uh, I don't think it's going to help us get more twists, unfortunately. I just wanted to see what would happen, because theoretically, if these were rigid objects, they would need to... The, the, the ends would need to uh, move closer as they twist. All right, uh, now what I wanted to do was experiment with... Let's go to zero stiffness. It's just going to flop down, but then what happens when we twist? Oh, see, it's actually not that bad. So this actually has slack in it, so the twisting actually kind of makes sense. All right, well, let's see what happens. Are we going to be able to get more out of it? Okay, here's that. I'm going to... Okay, giving the pistons... Yeah, that really doesn't help, does it? Okay. Oh, this looks like more than I've ever done before. You know what's also surprising? We're not getting any spaghetti. No spaghetti glitching happening. That is kind of interesting. This that did appear to twist some more. Okay, we need to we need to expand. We need to make this wider. I'm actually I'm just gonna keep these. You know what? Let's just move them where we want them. Yeah, I'm gonna expand them by four blocks in either direction. Which is kind of crazy. Because that essentially means eight blocks uh, additional diameter. Yeah, look at that difference. That's a big difference. So now I don't really need these anymore. All right, there we go. Now we've got a much bigger... Oh, should I have these on zero stiffness? You know what? Let's just keep it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, This is unintentionally attached over here i don't even i don't really need the piston thing anymore but let's just go ahead and keep it because i kind of i kind of used a lot of brain power on it and i don't want to just throw that away all right so we're still on zero stiffness but now you can really see the twisting and as they oh oh wow oh you know what this could be fun i did not want that to happen but now that it happened this is just an interesting like kinetic sculpture because the way they pass through each other with no collisions, they just have a different collision point now. Before, they were colliding on the intersections. So this might be better without the uh, layer. Let's get rid of the, uh, the hidden attachments. How interesting. All right, what happens if we compress? Now, this is weird. Okay. I feel like there's there's a good, there's a good angle that you can do with this. Probably this right here. I need to speed this up is what I need to do. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I'm going to Oh, dang it. Apparently my buttons for the uh, pistons are also correlate with going up and down. Ah, going up. Ah, going up and down on the uh, camera. All right, I think we're at contracted now. Oh, that's weird. Okay, here we go. So now we're straight. And now we're twisting. Interesting. Well, okay, so yeah, watching them go through each other without any hint of resistance is actually pretty satisfying. It's going to be more satisfying if we have more speed. Yeah. We're going from 0 0.05 to 0 0.5. Okay, let's put them on one stiffness. I think the floppiness is adding some variabil variability that we don't want. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's cool. That is actually really cool. See, I did, of all the things that was going to happen in this episode, this was not it, but this is kind of almost cooler than what else I was imagining. Because we kind of did what else I was imagining, and I was like, that was exactly as I expected it if it was successful. This is better than the successful version in my head. Okay. You know what we need to do now? We must add more. I don't, I feel like this is kind of a good diameter, but right now I want to like add a midpoint. So like somewhere out there. All right. So at this stage, I feel like we're just going to have to start uh, doing the whole rainbow thing. Cause it's going to be hard to just intentionally choose colors that work or don't work. All right. So we got red and we got orange. And then we got yellow. And then we got green. Then white is gonna go to blue. And then we got like an indigo... Uh... Um... Hmm. I don't know. I guess it'll be like... 
this will be the white one then. There we go. I think they're all distinct. All right. I think, uh, I think we're ready to have a very colorful display here. All right. I think this is going to be a good view. Ready? Okay. Okay. Hold on. We got to turn it on the night mode. We got, we're going to have a good time here. Time of day, night. <laughs> This is pretty cool. This is really cool. Whoa. I didn't think this was going to be like a ooh pretty kind of video, but it's that's the kind of video it is right now. All right, I'm going to I'm going to now extend the pistons while this is going and just see what effect that has on things. All right, ready? Here we go. Honestly, not as big an effect as I was expecting, but when it goes into like this, you can see the bending happening. We don't really need that. Not that useful. This is cool. Okay, you know what I need to do? I need to put it on toggle so I can just have it going without me having to put an input and then I can do the free cam freely. There we go. All right, yeah, now it goes while I can do this. All right, what is the best angle for this? I really feel like this is the best angle for this. Whoa, that was a little much. I think further back is kind of better. This is really cool. All right, if you watch carefully, each color is actually going straight across the center. Like, they're not spinning around each other. If you watch, the yellow and the pink are both going horizontal. Always, they're going horizontal. The red and the blue are always going vertical. And then the purple and the orange are going horizontal this way. And then, what else? Green and white are going horizontal that way. They just live in their own horizontal plane, which makes sense. Okay, now, oh yeah, now speed adjustments. Let's start, let's start experimenting with some speeds here. All right, we're at 0.5. I'm just gonna bump it up. I think 0.75 is reasonable. Let's go a quarter at a time. Three, two, one, 0.75. Okay, do you think there's a speed that'll break it? I almost feel like this is kind of a stable creation. Like we haven't had any issues. So place your bets now. Are we going to make it to speed 2.2.0, which is the fastest speed these servos can go without breakage? I'm like half and half. I'm on the fence there. I'm going to say no. I think this is a stable creation and we're going to be able to make it all the way to two. So let's start working our way there. See where it breaks. If it does break. All right, we're going to one. Go. Okay. The, the, the fact that this is how fast one is makes me a little less confident that two is going to work. This is a little, little intense though. Whoa. Oh, oh, this actually looks better from a distance. Kind of, it's still the same. You can see if you look at the middle of it, the uh, pink and the yellow are horizontal. Still they're keeping their keeping within their planes. They know their places. I think from here, I'm going to stop going up in quarters and we're going to go up in halves. So we're going to go to 1.5 and then two. Can we, you think it'll, you think 1.5 will work? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's push buttons and see what happens. Oh yeah, two is gonna work. Two is gonna work. What did you guys what did you guys bet? Do you still think two's gonna work? If you thought two wasn't gonna work, do you now think has this changed your mind? Alright, what is this? What is this gonna look like from the middle here? Okay, now it's just pulsing. It's no longer crossing, it's just pulsing. This is so cool. I did not like this is not the end result of this video that I was expecting. I was not expecting it to go here of all places. Even just looking at like one side is kind of interesting. All right, now we're, we're bumping it up. Max speed. All of you who said it's going to break, be prepared to be proven wrong. I hope. I'm going to look real dumb if this thing breaks. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Look at it go. Do I have an idea? I might have an idea. I might have, I have one final experiment to do. Let's bump this back down though, because uh, it, it's interesting to see if it would work at max speed, but it's just not, it's just not a pleasant experience to watch. I think 0.5 was actually like the golden speed. Yeah, this is definitely it. This is a good speed. I like that speed. Okay, so now my next, my final little idea for this is, where's the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. So five is the middle one. We're gonna delete the middle and I'm gonna replace the middle with a solid beam. And my reasoning behind this is they are, they're, what's preventing the twisting is they are passing through each other at the intersection point. 
If we convert the intersection point to a solid, then perhaps it'll allow them to stay on the correct like side of each other, causing them to continue to twist. And maybe we can get a full rotation of twisting without it uh, returning back to normal. So now what I can do here is actually color these glowing the same color as their respective power couplers. All right, so now this time I want manual control back and I want it to go slower again. I'm gonna go 0 0.2. All right, now let's see how this works. Oh, that actually already, like that is just a cool shape. Wow. Just frozen in time, I like that shape, that's satisfying. It's just, these are not shapes you see in grid-based building games very often. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. So we are... Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? I really thought we were on to something here. They just, they just phased right through. Boom, look at that. And boom. All right, I kind of want to see that. That could actually be a little bit cool from the middle here. Just like the, the explosion, color explosion. All right, here we go. Pew! It's kind of interesting how reliably it explodes. Okay, it's getting a little bit more variable. There we go. I mean, it doesn't break. You know, the amount of like spaghetti we've seen with power couplers, it is also... It is just as surprising how stable they are in very particular circumstances. Like, we haven't- this entire episode of just pushing these power couplers to a weird thing they were clearly not meant to do. We didn't get a single instance of spaghetti. This is really interesting. I don't know why. I just like- I just like to keep watching it for some reason. Alright, like this right here. Maximum tension before it breaks. That's interesting. You. You. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. It's a fun game, okay? I just have fun in it sometimes. All right, well, uh, the twisting experiment was actually a huge success. Do you guys have any other crazy experiment ideas that uh, you like to see me try in Trail Makers? Could be with the power couplers. Could be with parts I just never did an experiment with that you always wanted to see or always wondered about. Maybe this makes you think of about stuff we could do with other parts as well. And uh, also, reminder, this is the last chance by the end of the weekend if you want to get Trailmakers or a couple of the DLC stuff on a super, super discount unlike anything I've seen before, then now's, now's a chance before April 15th. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.